All right, welcome to another episode of Lifestyles. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We put a great one together for you with all of our beautiful co-hosts. We're going all over America's finest city, from the coastal scene to the social scene, and we're gonna dive into the real estate market here as well. Let's go ahead and get another episode of Lifestyles started right now. Ranch is a one-stop shop for the Carmel Valley community. There's a gym, great shops, even a dentist. One of the staples of this area is West Route Tavern. It's become the local watering hole that this community was craving. Lisa, I know this is a really busy time of year for you, so thank you so much for coming. Um, what eatery produced this beautiful spread in front of us? Well, today we are at West Root Tavern in the Village of Pacific Highlands Ranch, and I'm really excited to bring you here today and introduce you to Kevin Alsobrook, who is the general manager here at West Root Tavern, one of my favorite places. It's one of your favorite drinks or meals out here? You know, I have here? to tell you, I'm a margarita girl, so this right here is in front of me for a reason. <laughs> Really, really, they make really great signature cocktails. Yours is beautiful. I mean, they're all just really, really nice, and they taste delicious. So, uh, Kevin, I know this. The name of this restaurant, West Route, has a kind of a significant background. Can you tell me a little bit about what yeah. the background of this? Name our is? company, uh, our parent company, is the Verant Group, and they started in San Diego in 1997, I believe it is, it, with the tavern at the beach. So we've been in San Diego for 20 years. And when they were coming up with the name, we wanted something that showed our roots in San Diego. And so that's where the West came from. But then we also played with the, the root, where root has several connotations, where it's not only, we're rooted here as in we grew up here, but we're also, it's also a main ingredient in cooking. So you have, you know, garlic, you have ginger, all roots that are used in, in cooking. So it was a double connotation there. So Lisa, um, what do you really enjoy about this Carmel Valley ranch area? You know, I love this neighborhood. I love this area, and particularly this little shopping plaza that we're in here. There's just so much to offer. And here at West Rue, it, it's so unique in that you can bring your family, you can bring your friends. It's great for girls' night out. It's great for parties. It, and it's fun to come here with your family, too. It's kind of the local watering hole, if you will, the local tavern of this area. And it's just really comfortable. They've got great food, great drinks, great atmosphere. It's just a lot of fun here. Now, Lisa, have you had the opportunity to come here and enjoy the live music that they have? Oh yeah, they have live music on weekends, they have you know just different things going on in here all the time it seems. Um, I should mention too, there's different areas in this restaurant. You've got booth seating, you've got table seating, you've got bar seating, there's an outdoor area um, that you can enjoy you know the nice evenings that we tend to have here in San Diego. Fire pits, it's just really really great and all the different live music and things that they have going on in here and just the different events like Kevin was talking about March Madness, there's like 100 TVs in here, I think. So it's perfect for those people wanting to come. 2300, know, same thing. <laughs> now I know there are at least 30 beers on tap, which is wonderful. And I, I know you also enjoy wine, Lisa, um, and it has quite a wine selection here as well. Now getting to the highlights in front of us, um, Kevin, can you tell us a little bit about what um, food and drinks that are available here? Okay, well let's start out with the food. Right here is our West Street Burger. This is our number one seller. It's our tribute to the world famous In-N-Out Burger of San Diego. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it, it's very good, it's, it's fresh as can be. Um, and we kind of went, went with their style of, you know, let's keep it fresh, let's keep it good, keep it simple. So, in the middle here we have our hoisin calamari. Um, we do it a little bit differently than everyone else in that we use calamari steak rather than rings and tentacles. And then the, uh, the hoisin sauce is a nice spicy my mouth is watering just talking about it. Um, so that's one of our most popular appetizers. And then closest to you, we have our ahi salad, which is a nice mix of romaine and uh, spring mix. And then um, very fresh uh, ahi on there. So, that's beautiful. As far as cocktails in front of me, 
since Oprah Winfrey decided that Moscow mules were the greatest thing about 10 years ago, everyone has them. <laughs> um, we do a little bit of twist on, on ours and we use uh, Jameson's. Um, uh, we have a house margarita here and we start all our ingredients fresh. So we're not buying a pre-mixed sour mix. We make it in-house. We start with the, the lemon and the lime juice and work way up from there. And you have a sangria in front of you, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, is one of our most popular items on Wednesday night. Wonderful. Oh, Wine Wednesday, right? Wine Wednesday. Wine Wednesday. Half yes. off all wines from <laughs> 5 o'clock to close. Now and we should note that the different, you know, just look at the presentation too. That's part of what makes this place so special. You just don't get a plate or a cocktail in front of you. It really is beautifully done. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, besides the wonderful drinks and the great atmosphere, what brought you into this location, Lisa, that was so wonderful? You know, it's just so inviting and it's just a great atmosphere and it's really centrally located right here in, in the village of Pacific Highlands Ranch. Um, it was one of the first restaurants that opened in here, so uh, it was really nice to, you know, come. It kind of became the staple, if you will, of this little area. So, uh, yeah, I tried it. Actually, I think I was here on its opening night. Did you know that? Maybe I didn't not. know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I was here on its opening night and it was really, really nice and we just kept coming back. Now, besides the village, what are some other benefits of living in the Carmel Valley area? This is such a nice neighborhood. It's really, really family-centric. It's mostly new home construction. Um, the oldest home around here is only a few years old. Just uh, like me. Just like, yes, I know, <laughs> like me too. <laughs> they are still building, so there's a lot of new construction. Um, outside of that, we don't see a lot of resale in this area yet, simply because it is so brand new. Um, but, you know, outside in areas, of, you know, other areas of San Diego, we are seeing the market really pick up. Lots of resale homes coming on the market, uh, and really that's just happened in the last week or so. Uh, it's been interesting. We've been kind of in a drought, if you will, of inventory recently um, over the last couple of years, really. And now we're really seeing that shift. I don't have a crystal ball, but we are Lord seeing G. more and more things coming on. And if I have one, I think it would tell me that we're going to start seeing some more inventory come on. But of course, in this neighborhood, there still is the new construction, the new homes that are still available to purchase as well. Um, so besides that trend, are there any other trends that are happening right now in the real estate market that are noteworthy? Um, you know, again, it's just, it, this has been, we've sort of been in one of these situations of a supply and demand issue. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to purchase homes and there's not a lot of inventory to choose from. So buyers have become frustrated oftentimes because there'll be, you know, multiple offers on the same home in one weekend and, and obviously you can only sell it to one person. So because we're really kind of moving into more and more homes coming on the market, I think it's going to really you know, put people's minds at ease, help buyers, you know, give them some different choices and some different options. And we may see a little bit of a settling down in, you know, these multiple offer situations on homes that we've been seeing for the last couple of years. Kevin, I know you've probably had a lot of regulars come into here. Um, I'm assuming from the local neighborhood, um, what type of people come into this restaurant? We have mostly locals from the, the uh, neighborhood. Um, there's not a lot of tourism up here, so it's kind of a nice, um, safe place for, for the locals that want to avoid the, the crazy weekends at the beach or any of that. Um, so the, the normal person that comes in here is a very affluent, well-educated um, family person. Our philosophy is we want to see you three or four times a week, not three or four times a year. So we try to keep everything... Sign us up. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. <laughs> yeah. Right here. yeah. So we try to keep everything casual but nice. Well, I know in real estate, in both in restaurant businesses, prosperity is a big deal. So I wanted to cheers Great. to you a profitable and wonderful 2018. Great. Congratulations you to you, you both. Too. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>As a real estate professional, there are only so many hours of the day, which means efficiency is more than a buzzword. It's a daily necessity. Two tools from First American Title can help you keep on top of your transactions, either at your desktop or on the go. My First Am puts comprehensive property data at your fingertips, where you can review recorded documents, past transactions, or locate comparable sales quickly and easily. Cost First can also ensure you have 24-7 access to closing costs data, allowing you to generate net sheets, calculate fees, update documents, or email, print, or save your reports, along with TRID calculation and consummation date timeframes. Each sale includes a number of stages to manage, each with the possibility to delay a closing or derail it altogether. Let Cost First and My First Dam keep your transactions on track. Contact your local First American representative to get started today.
need two things that can get me out of bed in the morning, a great cup of coffee and an amazing breakfast. I've been told that there's one spot here in OB that can check both those boxes. I'm so excited to learn all about it with one of OB's top realtors here today. I'm great. How are you? Good. I always love that you bring me out to your hometown of OB because it's one of my new favorite places in San Diego. Well, it's beautiful and today is gorgeous. So yeah, it's <laughs> technically winter, I think, but we're still in summertime clothing. Yeah, it's summer here. Well, uh, I'm in a sweater today, but it was chilly this morning, but it's getting really <laughs> hot and gorgeous. I think we need to like say this chilly in San Diego is what? Yeah, well, I don't know, 60? <laughs> <We're> <laughs> spoiled. Everybody else is like in tank tops across the nation at 60. We're like right. all bundled up. Right. <laughs> so like I mentioned, OB is one of my new favorite places. Tell me a little bit about what's happening out here. Um, well, there's just so much growth happening in Ocean Beach. Um, you know, good and bad. People in OB really want it to stay a small town community, which is great. And that's one of the great things like where we're at today because local businesses and mom and pop places is what OB is kind of about. So we're really promoting that. Well, and I love, there's, I mean, there's a lot of beaches in San Diego, a ton, but OB definitely has a different feel and you can feel the vibe when you enter. Like when you get off the freeway, you just feel like a relaxed kind of yeah. comfortable vibe here in OB. Yeah, it's good. I mean, people here are very casual. There's, it's not a pretentious neighborhood. It's a great place to live. I think so. And as we're sitting here, we're at Sunny's Cafe in OB. We should probably mention that. Um, but we're seeing a ton of families walking by, people with dogs walking by. Huge variety here. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have $3 million houses next to $600,000 houses. It's a, it's a real variety. Um, and the community is eclectic. And that's what people love about here. Well, and so talking about real estate and talking about prices of home, what's happening in 2018 here in OB? Oh, well, the market is booming. Since the beginning of the year, it's just been crazy in a, in a really good way. Prices are high, buyers are out, more inventory is coming on the market. Um, we've had almost 50 closed sales in Ocean Beach and Point Loma since January 1st. Oh my so gosh. That's really good because we didn't even have 50 listings last year. So. Yeah. Well, and for those that don't know, real estate in winter is usually slow. So that's well, big. In other areas. Yes. Here, we don't really have that. There is happening. no lull time here. No, just. The fall is kind of our slow time because okay. people are going back to, you know, kids going back to school and stuff. But uh, winter is, we don't have winter. <laughs> That's, as we yeah. can tell. <laughs> yeah, right. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about where we are today. We're at Sunny's Cafe. Um, what area is this in, in OB? Um, well, this is South OB near the cliffs. Um, I think Sunny's is a really great example of the rejuvenation of the um, business districts in Ocean Beach that are outside of our traditional business district of Newport Avenue. Really what this is doing for the cliffs and people, all the houses around here, it's walkable. It really fits in with the community, the vibe of the community. The food's excellent. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a perfect example of what's happening here and in our Voltaire um, district where it used, was neglected for years and now it's you know a destination. Absolutely. People can walk to things. Absolutely, well and I love it. It's actually owned by an um, ex-NFL player, retired, I don't know what terminology to use for that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, um, ex-Charger actually yeah. owns this place. Yeah. And how did, I mean, where did even Sunny's come from? Uh, I think it was his daughter's name. Okay. Named after her. That's so sweet. Yeah. I love I love hometown stories like that. Yeah. Okay, so me and you have been snacking on the chips and guacamole. Sorry, everybody on camera. Do we, have, do we have it in our teeth still? And yeah, I hope not. <laughs> but that's been amazing. And then we also have some carne asada fries here that we also sampled, and they're so good. Yeah. So I'm loving the food, and it's like a Mexican breakfast vibe. Yeah. Well, it's very surfer food, you yeah. know. Um, and and actually, there's a sign on the corner that says "Surfers This Way" to Sunny's. I mean, it's it really fits in perfectly I with love the it. vibe and of OB. I'm loving my coffee too. They made us teas and coffee beforehand, mm -hmm. and that was a good call on their yes. part. Yes. Yes. So coffee's amazing, food's amazing, location's amazing. I think this place has it all, right? I love it here. I, I do too. Okay, so within walking distance to here, we have tons of neighborhoods. Like I can see houses mm -hmm. all over the place. But what other little areas or little shops are around here? Um, well, across the street is Sea Trader, which has amazing sandwiches that Ooh. if you don't live in this neighborhood, you might not know. <laughs> and they've been there for a long, long time. There's Peak Performance, where you can go get a massage and um, estheticians are there. and. Um, Pilates and just down around the corner there's the um, Little Lion which I have clients that 
you know, they go there every single day. And that's a little coffee shop too? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. There's... When I say little, I mean very little. <laughs> <laughs> very tiny spot, yeah. but a lot of flavor. Yeah. I love it. These all sound like, like hidden gems here in OB that only a local would know of. Yeah. So if somebody is looking to go to OB, you're saying, go away from no, like no Newport's amazing right There's yeah tons of shops oh, over yeah. there it's fantastic tons of places but maybe venture out a little bit then yeah so spread your wings and OB but don't drive walk <laughs> you we don't walk want everywhere. more we don't want more traffic <laughs> I love that well I think that's definitely the feel of OB I mean get on a bike walk grab your dog yeah. bring your family um, we have, always have the farmers markets right what night is that on every Wednesday night every Wednesday yeah. night so there is always a reason to be an OB oh yeah and right here where we're sitting, we are one block to Sunset Cliffs, which is amazing. I mean, people come from all over to watch the sunset there and the waves when they're big. And I mean, there's just a lot right around here. Sounds really it's romantic. Really good. Honey, I want a date night at Sunny's and a burrito and then Sunset Cliffs. Take notes. <laughs> yeah, and it's all within a block of each other. So. Hey, that works yeah. for me. Well, Katrina, I am always honored to be hosting out here because I love coming to OB. So thank you so much for having me out here today. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
young couple. Um, there's actually even an elevator from the garage down to the main level kitchen area. So it's a beautiful, beautiful property. It's also a great property for wine lovers, isn't it? <laughs> it is. 600 bottles. Wow. I didn't count them, <laughs> but that's what they told me. 600 uh -huh. bottles. It's got a smart home. It's got Lutron lighting system. It's got solar panels. Um, our client said that their last electric bill was about $11 running the air conditioning wow. during the summertime. So yeah. It's, Which is huge it's here in San Diego. Absolutely. And I also know when we went down to the master bathroom, it was a special, a very special feature that I think I haven't seen before, which is a projector inside your bedroom. That was very cool. So my clients have a three-year-old and they said what they decided to do, they did a little hole in the master. Which you can barely bedroom, see. In the wall, exactly. Yeah. And then behind they did California closets and they put a projector there. And then the drop down screen that serves as a shade mm -hmm. was also this big, huge home theater. So they would sit in bed, enjoy movies, popcorn, and have a great time. So it really is very cool. And I asked them if they use it and they were like, yeah, we use it all the time. So it's a great idea. It is a great idea. And I also like that, you know, you have that area to do it, but when you go downstairs, you have a family room so you can have another place where you can watch some movies. Absolutely. So as you go down, as I said, it's tri-level, which uh -huh. is great. You go down, there's a bedroom, which is en suite, meaning you have your own bathroom. And then there's a little fun family room in the middle. And then they use the other room as their office, but plenty of room for another child. And then as you walk out, you have your yard area. So. And we have a secret room. <laughs> the secret room, yes. And I didn't even know it was there. As you go out the backyard and you walk north, there's this big door that you open up. Which and doesn't look like a door, it no. looks like part of the fence. Exactly. So it's pretty cool to just not be able to see the entrance and have the secret room back there. Absolutely. So you open this door and then you walk in and there's this big fun mural and there's like a step up. He actually used it as a jam room. Um, they had a bunch of fun down there, they used it as a workshop, but it would be a great exercise room. Uh, a catch-all for storage stuff. Perfect house to entertain, isn't it? Absolutely. You have that outside patio. You have this here. You have the backyard. I yeah. feel like it has everything anyone would need in a home. Yeah. And the view, obviously, the view the is view everything is for me. Absolutely. I love it. I love to be able to see the ocean when you wake up, especially from the master bedroom. Absolutely. You just have windows. So it's, for, it seems like every room has a great view. You know, realistically, most every room does have a view. That's a great Facing point. Facing the ocean. Absolutely. And I mean, the nice part is, is that you're, as you come in Loring Street, you go up a big steep hill, which is great for cardio as well. Um, but as you kind of get tucked back in here, there's a lot of families. It tends to be a bit quieter up here, but you're five minutes from freeways. You're five minutes from Garnett Street. You're 10 to the beach, the You bank. can see Garnett from yes. here. Yeah, you can't hear it though, but you can see it. Yeah. That's true, we can actually hear birds chirping yep. right here, right next to Garnett. Something that a lot of people might not think yeah. is possible. Exactly. Well, like you said, we have Garnett right down the street. And a lot of people think, you know, you can grow out of PB, but I feel like this area, kind of you can still keep both lifestyles. What do you think? You know, it's funny, when I met my, my wife, Mary, seven years ago. Um, lucky seven. Lucky number seven. Um, she lived up north. Mm -hmm. and she's like, I am not moving to PB. It's a bunch of singles party, this, that. Which is what I also thought before <laughs> you brought me here. And as I've mentioned in the past, I've been uh -huh. here 25 years. But you're absolutely right. It, it's a really fun transition. We still have a lot of young, fun people. Mm -hmm. We have people that have been here, you know, since their homes were built in the 50s and 60s and whatnot. So it's, it's a really nice opportunity for all ages. Um, as I say, I had a bunch of fun here back in the day. But now being married with two boys, I mean, there's easy access to, we were just at Kate Sessions Park, mm -hmm. there's Faneuil Park, there's the beach, there's the bay, there's the boardwalk, there's ice cream shops. Something I mean, for everyone. Pizza, sushi, you know, they're opening, opening a lot of new restaurants as well on Garnett. They're shopping, coffee shops, so, you know, it really does have a lot for everyone. Yeah, I completely agree. I see when I came to this area here, it's a different vibe. It's a little more peaceful. Again, parking. I was able to park right away. I was a little worried. I came a little early thinking PB. You have to look for parking, not here. Yeah. You know, the nice part about being in North Pacific Beach and kind of tucked up here, it's more of an established area. People have been here for a while. Um, I actually know three people that live on the street. I had a friend that lived on the street right over there, families. Um, there are some people that use these as second homes, so they come out from Arizona, they come out from New York, Chicago, and beat the, either the 
heat or they beat the, the <laughs> cold temperatures, obviously. So it's it's really a nice opportunity, and exactly. I mean, the nice part is two-car garage, mm -hmm. plus they have the driveway, and then you have a lot of street parking, so it's great. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's another side of PB a lot of people probably haven't seen, but it's also a good thing, you know, to be able to feature and have those people come here and realize that it is possible in PB. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for showing us this beautiful house, and I can't wait to see who buys, who's the lucky buyer of this property. I, I agree. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, we sell it very soon. All right, that's all for Lifestyle, celebrating America's finest city. Thank you so much for tuning in with us every weekend, and don't forget, you can engage in the conversation as well. Would love for you to follow us on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're active on all of it, celebrating the greatest city in the greatest country on the planet. I'm your host, Craig Sewing. We'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in.